When the blue of the night meets the gold of the day, someone waits for me. Scott Trotter and his chorus and orchestra, the charioteers, Dick Henderson, and Bing's guests, the Last Paul Trio, and Judy Garland. But first, here's one of the greatest opening acts in show business, Bing Crosby himself. Opening act, yes. What is that? Opening clothes from Darling Theater. Thank you, Ken Carpenter, yourself. Now, if the group will sort of gather in the staging area here, we'll turn a couple of choruses to hold Buttermilk's chair. <laughs> Buttermilk sky, I'm keeping my eyes peeled on you. What's the good word tonight? Are you gonna be mellow tonight? Oh, buttermilk sky, can't you see my little donkey and me? We're as happy as a Christmas tree, heading for the one I love. I'm gonna pop for that question. That question, do you, darling, do you do? It'll be easy, oh, so easy, if I can only bank on you, oh, buttermilk sky. I'm telling you why, now you know, keep it in mind tonight, keep a brushing those clouds from sight, oh, buttermilk sky. Don't you fail me when I'm needing you most Hang the moon above a hitching post Hitch me to the one I love You can if you try Don't tell me no lie Will you be mellow and bright tonight By the melt sky Don't tell me no lie if you try, oh, buttermilk sky. That was Hoagie Carmichael and Jack Brooks' song, Buttermilk Sky. Of course, if you want to hear it sung good, you have to get the record by Matt Dennis. Really outstanding. <laughs> I got Les Paul here to play the guitar for me. So now I gotta get me somebody to love. Nights are long, oh so long on the prairie. I got to get me somebody to love. Got to find one. Who's kind and not contrary One who rides by my side And in love I got my horse Got a silver saddle But there's one thing Keep thinking of Nights are long Oh, so long On the prairie I got to get me Somebody to love See how that moon so bright up above I got to get me Somebody to love See how that moon shines So 
bright up above I got to get me somebody to love Thank you, Les. Thank you for the assist and for letting Trotter and the band take a rest. Now, if you'll excuse me, folks, uh, I'll take five and listen with you as the mighty Skitch Henderson steps to the Steinway complete with two thumbs and eight fingers to thrill you with one of Cole Porter's great tunes, I've Got You Under My Skin. introduce our guest of the evening, and for my dough, the talkie's most talented and attractive young lady. Just to think only a short time ago, this gal was a little kid with great big eyes and voice to match. What this talk with pigtails has grown into should happen to every little girl. Here she is, Miss Judy Garland. Thank you, Bing. But I, I didn't think you'd remember me when I was a little girl. Oh, why, sure, Judy. I remember when you were in pictures with Mickey Rooney. And <laughs> then you were on the, some radio program, weren't you? Uh, yes, Bing. It was the, if you'll pardon the expression, Bob Hope show. <laughs> <laughs> what a transition from Mickey Rooney to Mickey Finn, huh? <laughs> He's quite a wolf on the side, I hear, too. <laughs> Don't I know? <laughs> <laughs> I could never understand, though, Hope's attitude toward a refreshing... Clean-cut kid like yourself. Oh, I think you're an angel. I'm serious, Judy. No one but a cad could think of you in anything but the noblest terms. As I look upon the pretty little girl I knew blossomed into stunning young womanhood, my thoughts now, as then, remain high. <laughs> yes, Judy, high. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, not you, too. Oh, pardon me. It must be those atomic vitamins I'm taking. <clears throat> but bringing this discussion up to a current basis, uh, Judy, I believe you told me that your daughter, Liza, 
She's just eight months old today, hmm? That's right, Bing. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to sing a little lullaby to her. Well, along about this time of the evening, I could stand a lullaby myself. What are you going to sing for little Liza? Liza? Everything dovetails that I'm <laughs> May I tell you that you're high on the list of things we have to be thankful for? Oh, very prettily put, Bing. I suppose you're all set for your Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey, cranberry sauce, a full treatment. No, no, no turkey at my house, Judy. My four boys all insist upon drumsticks, so we're having rabbit. <laughs> well, <laughs> that sounds fair. Well, it's an annual ceremony at our house. You know, after they gnaw the meat off the drumsticks, they flog each other to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> they wake up kind of lumpy, but they're quiet most of the night. See, I remember when I was a kid up in Minnesota, I lived on a little farm, and every year about this time, I used to go wild turkey hunting. Oh, well, there's certainly nothing like getting out in the woods and blasting away at no hunting signs and an occasional gobbler. <laughs> I used to go hunting with a neighbor boy. His name was Homer Hogmeyer. He looked exactly like you. <laughs> oh, doggone Jiminy Crickets. Well, hello, Homer. Well, hello, Judy. Where are you going? I'm going hunting. You want to come along? Shucks, no. Went hunting with you last year and you shot my hair off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Homer. After all, this is a turkey hunt. If you're lucky, some feathers may ricochet into your skull. <laughs> come on, let's go into the woods. 
Oh, it's dark. Yeah. Gee, ain't romantic here in the pines? Just think here, Homer. Here we are together on Thanksgiving. I'm a girl, and you're a boy. Sex. <laughs> Jokes us that way all the year round, ain't it? Hey, wait a minute. Quiet, Homer. I see some feathers moving in that bush. Stand back. <laughs> Well, that goes the hair off the chest. Hey, look, Homer, here come four Indians. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, them are four Indians, all right. Let me talk to them. I know their language. How? <laughs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> You know, they'd be a great quartet for Jack Benny, that book. I shot his hair off, too. <laughs> oh, come on now. Hush up, Homer. we got to get a turkey. Yeah, we got a turkey. What we need is a hooper. <laughs> Look, Homer. Huh? Look, I think, I think there's something rustling over yonder. Gobble, 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 gobble. Is that a turkey? You were expecting maybe a goose? <laughs> hey, he blinds like a campus boy. Get back to the piano, Lyle. Go on. Oh, fiddlesticks, Homer. We ain't going to get no turkey. Let's sit down here on this log and neck. Well, your paw says we dash Yeah, but my paw ain't here. Let's dash. <laughs> Come on, put your arm around me and hold me close. Gosh, Judy, what's wrong with your eyes? They're awful close together. That ain't my eyes. That ain't my eyes. You're looking down my gun, my shotgun. Shucks, Judy. I ain't gonna kiss you in front of all these trees. Oh, now, come on, Homer. You'll do as I say. Now, hold on, you scoundrel. Unhand my daughter. Oh, now, don't get excited, Paul. We couldn't find no turkey, so we thought we'd just sit down here and sing a song. I don't hear no singing. You keep out of it. Come on, Judy. We better sing something there. Wait. Shine early when the clouds go drifting by. We will be so happy, Nelly. Don't let me hear you sigh. I can't stand to see you cry and die. Don't love her, Lane. We'll wonder, sweetheart, you and I. If you will wait, wait at the garden gate. Till the sun and I'll have a head on the lake. Bye, 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 bye. Wait till the sun shines when the clouds go drifting by. We will be so happy now. You make a sound. Wait, darling, lovers lane will wonder. Sweetheart, you and I will be so happy together. But it's all city, the pants of the weather man. Nelly! Nelly! Don't you sit there and sigh. If you will wait till the sun shines, Nelly. In the street, in the street, in the street, just in the street, and wait till the sweet by and by. It's a shotgun. Take your gun, take your shotgun. I see Skitch Henderson flexing his digits, which indicates that the bard of the Baldwin is ready to skip with me through all by myself. We go.
myself in the morning. myself in the night I sit alone in my cozy Morris chair so unhappy there playing Solitaire All by myself I get lonely Watching the clock On the shelf I love To rest my weary To grow older all by Nice keyboard calisthenic sketch. Thank you. Now, sketch, if you'll step over to the microphone, I would like to award you the B.S. Pulley Medal for your performance as the turkey in our sketch tonight. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Radio's falling apart. Just... <laughs> Like an old melody, though 
the perfume of roses in May. Returns to my room in December. From out of the past, where forgotten things belong, you keep coming back like a song. From out of the past, where forgotten. about gets it, but before I blow, I'd like to say it was mighty nice of you to drop in, Judy. By the way, you made any new flickers lately for MGM? Yes, I'm in an all-star musical that's coming out soon. It's called Till the Clouds Roll By. It portrays the life of Jerome Kern. Hmm, I gotta see that one. Well, good night, Bing. Night, Judy. Night, folks. <laughs> <laughs> 